SIM Application Toolkit is a standard of the GSM system which enables the subscriber identity module to initiate actions which can be used for various value-added services. The SIM Application Toolkit consists of a set of commands programmed into the SIM which define how the SIM should interact directly with the outside world and initiates commands independently of the handset and the network. This enables the SIM to build up an interactive exchange between a network application and the end user and access, or control access to, the network. The SIM also gives commands to the handset such as displaying menus and or asking for user input. STK has been deployed by many mobile operators around the world for many applications, often where a menu-based approach is required, such as mobile banking and content browsing. Designed as a single application environment, the STK can be started during the initial power-up of the SIM card and is especially suited to low-level applications with simple user interfaces. In GSM 2G networks, the SIM application toolkit is defined by the GSM 11.14 standard released in 1995. From release 4 onwards, GSM 11.14 was replaced by 3GPP 31.111 which also includes the specifications of the USIM application toolkit for 3G networks. Advantages Some manufacturers claim that STK enables higher levels of security through identity verification and encryption, which are necessary for secure electronic commerce. STK has been deployed on the largest number of mobile devices. Limitations Updating Android software is done over the GSM where the SIM toolkit may install automatically with new software regardless of automatic install applications. Change in applications and menus stored on the SIM is difficult after the customer takes delivery of the SIM and sometimes may be recognized as surveillance software. To deliver updates either the SIM must be returned and exchanged for a new one or the application updates must delivered over the air using specialized optional SIM features. As of October 2010, mobile network operators can, for example, deliver updated STK application menus by sending a secure SMS to handsets that include a SimAlliance Toolbox compliant wireless internet browser. When using a SIM card compliant to the bearer independent protocol and a BIP compliant handset, the updates can be delivered very quickly as well. It might also be possible to change the menu of STK applications based on the wireless Internet Gateway specification. The update limitations hinder the number and frequency of STK application deployments. STK has essentially no support for multimedia, only basic pictures. The STK technology also has limited independent development support available. STK and CAT in 3G USIM Application Toolkit is the equivalent of STK for 3G networks. Card Application Toolkit is now used as the more generic method used describing the UICC's more extensive STK features. References External links, DEFCON 21, The Secret Life of SIM Cards on YouTube.